Hey everyone, it's Phoebe, and I have some great updates to share with you about our library, which has been improved in our release of 2025.0. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so I have a pretty empty screen here. That's because we're gonna mainly talk about the library. First, I'm just going to draw your all all of your attention to where the new library is. So first we're gonna go about, go through where it is, the layout of it, how it works, and then some ways in which you can really utilize this new library for your live workflows and everything. So first off, where is it? It is now at the top right of your screen. It's this icon right over here with like the three lines connecting and all of that, it's this icon. When you click it, your library will come up. It'll be like a pop-up. There'll still be the shortcut to get to it, which is shortcut Y. So you can use that on your keyboard to open and close it. We've decided to make it a pop-up to give you more screen space so that your 2D and 3D window could be larger than before. That's the whole reason why we moved it out to the side so that, especially in smaller screens, you had more of your 2D and 3D window to work with. If you absolutely hate this, guess what? You can always go back with this back button here. This will then come up saying, the new library will be reverted to the previous library. Do you wanna proceed? And I can say, yes, proceed. Now. If you have done the old library and you're like, you know what, I'm ready for new things and I want to try new things, all the way at the bottom, you can go to switch to new library and then this will allow you to switch to your new library. You can then say, try now, learn more or cancel. If you hit learn more, then the manual page will pop up and just walk you through everything about that new library. But we're going to hit try now because I'm going to walk you through everything for that new library. So here it is and also what's nice is if you like move this library over here and then you hit like one it will come back to exactly where you last left it so also what's really nice is if you have multiple screens and you by mistake leave it on the wrong screen or you like can't find it you can always hit this little reset layout button at the bottom right and it will reset it and then put it right back at the top. It's this little reset button. And then I can hit Y, again for my shortcut, to bring this in and out. Or you can just hit the icon. You can also hit exit to close it. Okay. So, let's talk about this library. So, first off, layout. At the very top is all of your libraries. So you've got close, this is all of your close assets. Then you have close set. This is all of your close set, like libraries, access, and everything. You have your own library. So if you bring in like your own folders using this add button, you can like bring in any of your folders on your desktop. You have that all right here. So this is all of your libraries. That's at the very top, along with your X. On the far left, is the breakdown of what's in that library. So for the Clo one, you see all of the Clo assets. For Close Set, you kind of see a breakdown of how like Close Set is organized, right? You could browse it, your workspaces and favorites. For your own library, you'll then be able to see all the folders within the folder you brought into the library. So here I have key features and I have all of my different key features for this. Same here, I have all of these different folders within this folder, so you can see all of that. Then the second level of the top, this is where, at least for Clo, you can switch between your Clo assets and connect assets so you can easily get into the connect space. You also can use the search bar for any of these libraries here, your own personal libraries, Clo set library and Clo, to search within that folder. So right, so I can say like, skirt, and you can search within that folder. The third level of the very top right here. This is the right over here. This is showing you where you are in your library. So right now I'm in garments, right? 
but if I was like here, then I see I'm in Hangers, right? So this shows you your location of where you are in the library. And then over here, this allows you to store like how you want to view it and all of those styles. What's really nice is if I did like size mine up info and then I hit exit, when this comes up again, it will save exactly how I like set it up to view it. So it will just automatically save that viewing. So if you really like how you just set it up, you'll always see it like that, which is really nice. And then you also have refresh to like refresh it's ever in your folders or anything if you like drop something in and you need to refresh it quickly. And then all the way at the bottom, we've already covered this, but this is the back on if you wanna go back to the original style of the library, okay? So let's talk about how it works, right? Now that we know the layout, how does it work? So before we get back to the new library, I just wanna call out, there's all these folders in my old library here that are favorites. Right? I know they're favorites because when I hit add, it says like that folder and it brings it into my favorites folder, right? Right here. So these are all my favorites in my old library. Okay, just so yeah. Let's switch to the new library. This is gonna come in handy in a minute. So first off, how do your libraries work, right? So at the very top, this is all of your Clo assets. So this is all the preloaded assets into Clo. Close set, this is everything that is in your close set library. If you need to, like you can get into it. If you're not already logged in, you can just log in hitting this user account and then you can log in through there. You can also go into close set to open it up and then log in. The libraries are, these are libraries that you brought in. So you just hit this add button, create new library, but you can also transfer your previous favorite folders. Remember, I just pointed all those out. You can transfer all of them into here. And then this is your favorites. You can see them all right here. You also can rename these. So I can just right click and rename favorites. And then I have all of those. You also can right click and delete, which is also very helpful, right? You can add in more folders if you need to when you're in your own libraries, just by like, again, right here, clicking this add. And now I've just added in a whole nother folder. So you can have all of that all within here for your own libraries. You can organize it however you'd like. You can add more up top and rename them all. You can delete them. You can add more folders here. You can click through as you can see all of that. That's how libraries work. How all of your assets work from Clo is all of the core assets like your garment, avatar, fabric, trim, and stage are all off to the left here. You can switch between Clo assets and connect assets within this Clo, like Clo library. So to do that, all I have to do is click connect assets up top and now it will show me all these connect assets and then i can just like search in this search bar jacket and then it will show me all of them you can also organize it by like featured or newest and then if you like anything say it like this you can check it on download it and then once it's downloaded, you can drag and drop and bring it in. You can also, like if you want to select everything. So if there's like new assets, I wonder if I have any new assets. I don't. So if I have any new assets up here that I need to download, you see how there's an end so it's new. I can check here and there's also like a little box up here that says check all. So I would check any of them that are new and then I can download all of them all at once. 
So that's like one way in which you can download many things all at once. And again, I could go into connect and I could select this, right? I could check this one, check this one. Like I can't check ones that I've already downloaded, obviously, I've downloaded quite a lot, but I can download all of the ones that I haven't and then just download them all at once. So that's like how the download works. You can just use that checkbox, download them, and then drag and drop them in. And then again, just like you can sort this around however you'd like. So you can sort like this through name, last modified, right? Um, size, type, ascending, descending, you can do all of that. And you can have either icons like I have right here, or you could do a detailed view. And what's also nice is you can do a preview panel. So I could select this and then I can see my front, back and side, all right here. And like, that's how I can view anything, right? For fabrics, I'll be able to view the drape and all of this information all right here, which is really nice, right? I can also go to my elastics and like this is again a nice example I can click here hit this download all and then download them all then I'll have them all downloaded same with normal maps I could click this select my download all button download them all at once and if I like wanted to exit out I can always hit this exit Maybe to stop downloading because this is taking too long. And you can also just select a few and download just a few. Very, very easy and helpful. And here, what's also really helpful at this very top is right now I'm like, oh, I just want to get back to my like just fabrics. At this top part, I can just click fabrics and now I'm back to fabrics, right? Also, I can resize my library around if I want to see more by just clicking at the right edge and clicking and dragging and I can move this around more. And then again, I can click this, then I'll see like the drape and all of the information right here. Drape all this information, drape all this information. And I can also resize any of this stuff around, which is also really nice. So really great on how you can view and adjust and change all of this stuff. And again, I can go to my connect assets and then see all of this as well and download any of these. And then I can just drag and drop them in. Like the dragging and dropping is amazing because it's so much fun. Like honestly, it's, it's just a drag and drop. And then I can just say no. And now it's in. And then I could go to my connect assets, drag and drop. And then this pop up will say, Do you want to open or add? I'm going to say add. And I'm going to say zero, zero. Okay. So now I've added this in. You also can. Let's just go to assets really quickly. Actually, let's find that jacket. You can also right click and say add to workspace. And then that will add it. And then you can hit OK. But the dragging and dropping is really cool. I like dragging and dropping. And I mean, now I can just go to Chloe avatar. Here's this. And I can find like avatar or anything like that. And bring it oh, an avatar in if I wanted to. I'm fine. Yeah, and then I can also open up my connect website right over here and just go to connect if I want to just go to the website. But what's really, really nice about this new library is how it's connecting so many, like, so much of the Clo virtual fashion platforms straight into Clo so easily. 
So like, it's very easy to start to create and add in and create a whole scene all with just like a few clicks of your library. And it's so much easier and faster than ever before. So it's really cool. So now that I've set myself up for this, let's actually go through how you could use this. So let's, let, I'm gonna resize this just because I want it a little smaller because I want more space. I'm gonna go to close set and I'm gonna bring in one of my close set files, right? Qu really quickly and easily. And again, I can just drag and drop it, right? Nice. What's also really nice is I could right click on this close set file right here. And I could say like add to workspace, show copy the path, show an explorer. I could also open slash add previous versions. Like it will always open the most recent, but if I wanted to open an older version, I could have. And I could also open with close set. So there's a lot of options right at your fingertips, right within this library. So I can bring in any of this. I like this current version, so I'm good. But again, I could open previous version. There's only this one here. But you can open up anything that you have here and just a right click on top, you have all these options. And also don't forget, once you're done with this, you can always just go to your close set up top and upload it to your, that project again and then it's all saved within. Let's say I have another file that I wanna pull from my actual computer. So I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna to go to my library. Actually, I'm gonna hit add. And I'm gonna add her. Cool. I'm gonna say cool. Let's also say I've got some shoes that I want. Maybe I want to go to Chloe and I don't really like any of these. What about connect shoes? Thank you. Nice. Do I want any new shoes for him? Yes. Cool. Now let's also go to the Connect store and let's see some stages that they have, right? Because I can bring in different stages and stuff. So I'm gonna download this one. And I'm just, I just double clicked. I'm gonna add this. Great. And I've got a whole scene all through using like all of these, like all of these different platforms that Glow gives you access to. Really cool. And now I can render this out, right? So much fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out all of our great videos on our YouTube channel. There's so many great videos for you to learn from and to hear about. And I swear there's more than just me on that channel. Um, thanks again so much and keep having fun in Chloe.